physics, anyone? Hi, my name is Anissa Ramirez. Welcome to Science Explained, and welcome to the home of the New Haven Open at Yale. Today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the science of tennis, which is one of my favorite sports. Tennis has certainly evolved over the years. Just look at the rackets. The rackets used to be made out of wood, and now they're made out of high-tech composites. Wood was the dominant material for about 400 years, but it had a lot of issues. It had low strength, and it suffered warpage. Now, we use high-tech composites, which are made out of carbon fibers that are embedded in epoxy, which is just a fancy word to say glue. Now, these materials have high strength, but they also have low weight. So, let's also talk a little bit about the strings. First, what are they made out of? They're made out of natural gut, which is actually the intestines of a cow. One cow can string three tennis rackets. That's a lot of cow. But most people actually don't use natural gut. We use nylon, which is a flexible polymer that's used in a lot of materials that we take for granted, like backpacks, guitar strings, and the like. So what exactly do the strings do? Well, there's one shot that's very important for the strings. The strings hit the top of the ball and create topspin. Topspin is a great shot because it makes the ball fall down sooner than a ball that doesn't have topspin. You see, there's an effect called the Magnus effect, which says that a rotating ball with topspin will fall down faster with a, than a ball without topspin. So what's going on? Well, it ends up that while the ball is rotating, a thin layer of air around it is also rotating with it. So that means that the velocity of air below it is faster than the velocity above it. This also means that the pressure below is lower than the pressure above it, causing the ball to fall down sooner. Professionals use a lot of topspin. Venus Williams has top spins on the order of 1,200 revolutions per minute, or RPM. And Nadal has a crushing 3,600 revolutions per minute. That's really fast. When Nadal hits a ball, it rotates 80 times from one end of the court to the other end of the court. Those rotations are faster than the rotations in a washing machine. That's really fast. And so you see, knowing a little bit about physics can really give you an advantage in tennis. I'm Anissa Ramirez. Thank you for joining us at Science Explained, and I hope that you'll join us for another edition.